Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rick, your singing wealth coach. And today we want to talk about Opportunity's wife. That's right. Every You know that Opportunity has a wife and uh, her name is Miss Opportunity. <laughs> That's right. So I hope this holiday season that you're not missing opportunities uh, to be a blessing to people and you're not uh, missing out on your opportunities and your potential blessings that can come your way. So I want you to say this prayer with me right now. Lord, help me to be alert and be able to pay attention to the opportunities that you're giving me to be a blessing and to receive a blessing as well. Donald Trump, uh, the president of the United States, I was taking his class back in 2002 um, at the Rosemont Horizon in Chicago, and he was talking about real estate. He was on a tour training people on real estate. And he said at one time around 1991, he was really depressed and broke basically, uh, owed uh, several million dollars and was just in trouble. He had been personally guaranteeing, <clears throat> excuse me, he had been personally guaranteeing his real estate deals, which is a no-no for all of you all who don't know any better. Um, whatever you do, don't personally guarantee uh, anything. Make sure that you operate preferably through trust so that you're not at, uh, not being exposed. You can always get in touch with me if you want to learn about trust. But anyway, uh, Donald Trump, he's at this, um, at this real, so he's at home and he's getting ready to go to a meeting <clears throat> and he said he didn't feel like going to work. Notice that he called going to a meeting work because for entrepreneurs, basically the meetings that we have, that's how we work. We sit down, we have a conversation with somebody and, uh, and we shake hands and then we got a deal. And the next thing you know, money is circulating. So we don't work places for eight hours and stuff like that. So if you want to be an entrepreneur, um, uh, if you want to trade places from being an employee and want to be an entrepreneur, you got to be alert because uh, things like this are happening, could possibly happen to you. So he said he, he decided, um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead on to this meeting. I'm not going to sit in the house and watch TV like I want to. So when Donald Trump, when he got to this meeting, he sat down and he started talking to this guy at the table. So um, he said about 45 minutes went by. He said then the meeting started getting kind of good. So the guy finally looked over at him and said, do you know who I am? And um, Donald Trump was like, uh, no, I don't. He said, well, I know who you are. The guy said, I'm the head mogul on Wall Street. In fact, I'm the guy that was going to take, into, take you to court this week um, to bring into account all those personal guarantees that you put on these real estate deals that I went defunct. Basically, I was going to kick you out of town and, um, and well, then, you know, you was going to be a has-been. So um, he said, but you know what? This is what he told Donald Trump. He said, <clears throat> I never met you in person because your little deals were too little for me. You know, I would sign off on them, but I would never come in person. Now imagine that Trump owes, what, I don't know, $100 million or something, millions of dollars. And this guy is telling him his deals are so little, he never met him in person. So now he's talking to this guy in person. He said, but since I met you now and I see how, what kind of a business mind you have, I'm going to forgive your little debt and I'm going to give you some real money so you can get started. Now imagine that. Imagine if he hadn't went to that meeting. He probably wouldn't be the president of the United States now. So make sure that your encounters count. And make sure that when you have another chance, another opportunity to be able to do something, it's typically going to be the best opportunity when you really didn't want to go, when you really just wanted to stay home, when you really just wanted to sit still. Those are when the best opportunities uh, come up. And um, when you sit home and you lay around and you, and you don't take advantage of things because you're not feeling good, you're feeling depressed because you just don't feel like it, that's when Opportunity's wife comes in and lavishes, and lavishes you. So I just want to know, are you married? to miss opportunity, uh, today is the day that you ought to get a divorce. I pray that you have a great holiday season. It's been a plum, please, and pleasure, as well as a privilege. This is Rick signing off. And remember that Stella is as Stella does. Happy holidays.